Hello everyone and welcome back to JB Subtle Gaming where today we're taking a look at Shadow Warrior 2, a triple I game if you will, a independent uh, studio game that has a good uh, funding behind it, a looter shooter or first person looter, whatever you want to call it. It's a big departure from the original game where this game has some, I, I don't want to call it non-linear, but somewhat procedural generation, even though it's not that, with different tiles that are pre-made but get put down randomly together in side missions and main missions, where you collect a bunch of loot. There are 70 different weapons in the game and all kinds of loot, but we'll see that later. Um, it is a game that is priced at $40, so again, it's high price maybe for an indie game, but lower price than a AAA game. And let's talk about the positives and negatives. The reason I wanted to do this review is I've seen a ton of positive reviews, overall very high reviews on Steam. Some people talking about this being their game of the year, and some people saying how they think this game is garbage. So how can that be? So I want to talk about the positives and negatives. I feel like I can see both sides of the issue, and help you decide if this game is right for you. First of all, let's talk about the positives. It looks great. There are some exceptions to that. Some of the NPC character models I think look pretty bad. Um, and I think the weapon models are a little too big, it can be a bit of a distraction, and there's a lot of particle effects that can possibly be distracting. Uh, you may like that, some gamers may not like that. But overall, it's optimized well, you don't need a super powerful system to run it. But if you do have a pretty powerful system and you crank it up, it looks pretty nice, especially for what might be considered an independent game. Also, there's a simple but effective character progression system where you get these cards, you can get new cards and then level up abilities, and I think that works pretty well. There's co-op gameplay with up to four players that I haven't done myself, but I've heard works pretty well. There's a lot of great movement. The game early on starts you with a dash and a double jump, and you can use that to move around the level effectively and while you're in combat, which is fantastic and solid gameplay. You have a bunch of different attacks you can do with your melee weapons. There are different skills you have, like a force push, you can use spikes to trap people and go vanish and there's a uh, damage modeling on the characters where you slice in a certain spot that's actually where it slices on the enemy which is pretty fantastic and i think overall the gameplay is fun i do have some issues with it though first let's talk about the loot system there's a ton of loot in this game so you see here just me quickly going through some of the upgrades there and this is just uh, and this isn't even that many there's so many different types so many different kinds and 95 to 99 percent of them are kind of garbage they're little stat upgrades little upgrades to give bonus to this is minus to this and there's some of the skills which those i think are pretty well implemented but here i am you know in the middle of a combat and after combat you'll see how many items are underground some are health pickups some are ma uh, mana or chi pickups uh some of them are items that you have to pick up with with uh, hitting the E button, that are lore, that I don't know if anybody bothers to read. But you have to pick up quest items with the button, you may accidentally leave one behind. And then there are also all these little chests all throughout the level, like there's one right there, with all these items. And so many of the items, yeah, there is ammo in that, but they're just these little upgrades. And here's the thing, it can get a little annoying. I feel like some people could, and me personally, I feel like I suffer a little bit of loot fatigue in this game. It's a bit like Diablo 3 before they patch it, where there's just so much stuff and most of it is garbage. But if you don't play with the system, and it, there's one of the cool abilities there, but if you don't play with the system, then your weapons are going to be underpowered, and the enemies, some people say some of them are little bullet spongy, it'll be even worse, and some enemies have resistances to certain elemental types, or they're weak to certain types, and things like that, so it's a system you're going to want to play around with in order to play effectively, but I feel like there's just too much, you're going to sell most of it anyways, and it's all this time spent in menus and looking at things. Um, also, I feel like there's uh, maybe a little too much dialogue in the game. Another potential negative is the main character in the story for some people. Some people are annoyed with it, some people love it. Basically, this game is very mature, or re really immature. Uh, we'll call it vulgar. I don't, I don't feel like we use that word mature very well in the English language when we're talking about these things. Basically, uh, you know, there's a lot of puns and silly things, and the main character is kind of silly. And here's an example of the dialogue here. I feel like there is a little too much dialogue. Um, every side mission, because their optional side missions have dialogues before it, and they just seem to go on a little long. But overall, I kind of enjoy the main character, and if you're all right with kind of dumb, silly humor and kind of ridiculousness, um, it's no big deal. This isn't really a big spoiler. It's right at the beginning of the game. Basically, this woman gets a demon put inside of her. They have to take her soul out of her body to repair her body, and you get stuck with her soul for a while, and she goes along with you, um, kind of talking to you on occasion. And overall, I don't think the characters are bad. Some people are annoyed by it. I don't think that I, I kind of enjoy the dialogue, but if I could 
can see some people being annoyed by how maybe vulgar or just silly it may be. Um, so there you go, potential possibilities of being fatigued by so much loot, potential possibilities by being fatigued by some of the characters, but if you like that idea of having a ton of loot, spending a lot of time in the menus figuring out what's the most efficient thing, and you don't mind getting rid of all the you know stuff you don't need, then this game may really be for you. So what do I think about it overall? Um, $40 is a definitely a fair price point for this game. It looks and runs like a $60 game, it runs better than a lot of $60 games actually, and if you're okay with the juvenile or mature, whatever you're going to call it, humor, and okay with all that loot, then this may be a must pick up. But some people really don't like this game, and they feel like all that other stuff takes away from the game. It could be a really fun game, but there's just so many distractions with all of this loot, with all this dialogue. So if you're okay with those things, great. If you think those things will get in the way, and you just want to enjoy the gameplay, and you feel like those things will bog you down, if you feel like uh, games like Borderlands or Diablo before his patch just kind of got annoying with all of that, then I could definitely see this a game maybe not being worth your while. But overall, I wanted to give kind of what I consider a fair and balanced review, point out the negatives, admit that I feel like those things are potentially negatives, and I feel like they do detract from the gameplay for me. But for $40 a game that looks and plays this one, the gameplay itself is all that fun when you're not spending time in menus, and maybe after some of the, you know, less than good dialogue, then it's a game that I personally think is pretty solid, and if you don't think those things will detract too much from your enjoyment, then it might be a game you want to check out. So, thanks a lot for watching, and we will talk to you again soon.